everybody. So today we're going to try Coffee Bear. This is from Hot Butcher for the World. Thank you to Hot Butcher for sending this. I will leave their website link down below. This is a peanut butter imperial stout brewed with chocolate and coffee. 10.5% uh, ABV is what is on the can. This was packaged on 1-4-22. This is the beginning of March. I will not look at the back because we'll see if I can find out. Usually what I do on Hot Butcher beers is there's three tasting notes on the back. I try and see if I can pick what they picked. Um, I'm using a regular glass. My standard Hot Butcher glass did crack and break. Uh, not sure which one of the kids might have done it, uh, but I found it on the table with some of it out. So I'm using this because I didn't want to use another one of my glasses uh, with a different brewery on it. So let's go ahead and open this. This has been sitting out for more than an hour. I would say an hour and 15 minutes at this point, and this thing is full. I don't, ah, I got my paper towel. I think, I almost want to say the last Imperial Stout I had from them was like this. Get it in here. Now, I think they do have a fat bear. I think that's supposed to be like the standard, like the base one. I have not had that. I want to say I saw it on Instagram. I could be wrong. Could have been Facebook or somewhere else. I don't think it was in a beer review. Again, could be wrong. I look at so many beer reviews and Instagram posts, it could have been on both. Uh, but I have not had that, so I don't know um, what that tastes like or anything. So I'm going for what this is. Now my hands are all sticky. So head. Um, Medium chocolate colored, uh, I just finished one up that was a coffee stout and I said like Tootsie Roll color. Uh, this one is a little less, a uh, little lighter in color. Pretty much all small bubbles. I do have a couple medium ones popping. Uh, from that pour, a finger and a half of head, um, which is good. I'm surprised though. I'm not sure if they're using real coffee beans. I mean, real coffee beans. Is there fake coffee beans? If they're using like a cold brewed coffee or if they're using the coffee beans from the head, I would say that they are using like a cold brewed and pouring the coffee in there because I think the head would have been gone if they were using beans unless they have some magic to bring head back because usually the oils in like coffee beans or peanuts are going to kill the head. Um, color I would say is black. Yeah, I would say that's black. I'm looking at the the coffee one because I said that was very dark brown, but this one from here looks black. It almost looks browner to you, and that's why I was looking over there because I thought that one was brown, but in the camera it looked black. It's black. Let's go ahead and smell. You get that roasted peanut, maybe a little bit of sweetness, a little roasted malt. I'm not really picking up coffee. Yeah, maybe a little. Now that it's had time to air out, but that, that roasted peanut is what I really pick up the most of, uh, pick up most of. And then, yeah, maybe a touch of uh, the, the coffee uh, in there, some sweetness mixed in there. Sweetness is probably from the grain bill, I'm guessing. I could be wrong. Let's go ahead and taste. It smells great. First thing I noticed, lighter, bo lighter body. Um, for an Imperial, I think I want it thicker almost medium but not quite there i think i want it a little past medium uh that roasted uh peanut really sticks out there's some bitterness about mid palate to the end um that seems like that's the coffee roasted malt um bringing on that bitterness because i don't think you're going to get that out of peanuts um the bitterness does hang around 
Uh, not as much coffee. I think the peanut overpowers the coffee. I don't even know if I would say there's coffee in here. The, the bitterness mixed with that roasted peanut almost seems like, okay, burnt malt, very dark roasted malt. That's where I'm getting the bitterness from, not the bitterness of a like French roast coffee. Hmm. I don't get any alcohol. Let's pour more. There. Head's staying around, so um, Hot Butcher, if you're watching this, you can comment down below. My guess it's cold brewed coffee because we're we still have a head. It's a very, it's almost like a peanut butter stout, imperial stout. I think I would call it that more than coffee bear, like peanut bear, peanut butter bear. You know, those ones that you can get that are a bear and it's stuffed with peanut butter. Um, the bitterness though, I obviously, you wouldn't have that kind of bitterness in a peanut butter stout or anything like that but i i truly think it's coming from the roasted malts now it could be the roasted peanut roasted malt is what's throwing me off uh 4.25 out of five uh no alcohol i could drink a couple of these and probably not be able to get up um i'm having a hard time thinking roasted and peanut I don't know what to say about the malt. It's almost like nuttiness, nutty, bitter malt. I, I don't know. I don't even know what the third one would be. It has to be chocolate, something chocolate. Bitter chocolate, roasted something, and peanut is what I'm going with. And I didn't even say anything about the, the chocolate in there. Uh, maybe the, the bitterness is coming from the chocolate. Um, like they're using a very bitter chocolate in there. Because I still feel it. It feels like that bitterness keeps growing and growing as you drink it. But yeah, bitter chocolate... Roasted, roasted nuttiness, and I don't know about the third one. Roasted coffee, creamy peanut butter, rich chocolate. Hmm. Maybe it is coffee. I need to try the base. And I don't know what the base consists of. I don't know if the base... I'm guessing the base is peanut butter imperial stout brewed with chocolate is what I can guess because this one's coffee bear and that one's fat bear so I could see that working this one is adding the coffee so I would like to see how much roasted coffee is coming out of this I'll save the other one usually I split these um, with friends when they come over but I think I'll keep this one for myself until maybe Fat Bear comes out or comes back out and then I'll try it. But yeah, 4.25. If you're a peanut butter fan, uh, especially in stouts, definitely one to pick up and try. I believe this would be good if they made a jam one to mix them together. Um, I think that would be good because this is a good peanut butter beer. Let's go ahead and check untapped. One of my friends has had it 4.25. Uh, almost 2,000 people have checked it in, 4.2 out of 5. And of course, Joe was the guy, uh, oh, he mentioned maybe it was on tap then, or uh, YouTube. 
that I saw it. Maybe he said fat bear, uh, but yeah, he gave it a 4.25 style guidelines, uh, peanut butter, coffee, chocolate, roasty light. Uh, I don't know if they're talking about the body. If they are, I would say that is correct. Let's look at everybody just real quick to see if anybody else said anything. Heavily hops. I understand there are more hops and stouts to help balance it. I don't think that bitterness is from hops. I could be totally wrong, but I don't think that's from hops. Sweet chocolatey peanut buttery, like a liquid peanut butter cup. I think it's a little bitter for a peanut butter cup. I think I could do reviews on just what people say on Untapped. So I'm going to stop there because, yeah, I could go back and forth all day. Thank you to Hot Butcher for sending this. Again, if you're into peanut butter stouts, definitely one to pick up and try if you can find it. If you enjoyed this review, check out some other Hot Butcher beers over here. And until next time, cheers.